Hello everybody, my name is Spoons Rattling. Welcome to another video on my series in playing Alpha Legion. In this video I'm ranking the different HQs for Chaos Space Marines and how I use them, or where they rank personally, for my use in Alpha Legion. So first up we have the uh, Sorcerers, and, and I believe they're a tier 3 choice. Uh, I just think they're generally the weakest of the HQs. They have poor melee threat and the Dark Hereticus Discipline, Spare for Death Hex. Uh, prescience and the god specific spells i think is quite bad and buying in a character that's not super durable for it i don't really think is worth it and i personally think the on foot standard sorcerer is quite weak uh, the terminator sorcerer is better he can pack a bit of a ranged punch since he can take an actual weapon and he has access to all three of the force weapons though they're all pretty much the same thing in my opinion Again, I think that the Dark Hereticus Discipline is overall weak, spare for Death Hex and Prescience, and even then they're okay at best, I'd say. Uh, Death Hex is more useful, but it's super hard to cast at Warp Charge 8. So yeah, I think Sorcerers are at the bottom of the list. The next up, we have the Warpsmith. Uh, I personally think the best vehicles to buff with the Warpsmith are the biggest vehicles, like uh, Mauler Fiends or uh, things like that. Um, and... Alpha Legion is at its best when it's using things with 9 wounds or less, which I think don't get quite as much value out of the Warpsmith. Granted, I think the Warpsmith could go into uh, Tier 2. Just personally, I think the Lord Discordant does it better. But again, the Warpsmith's not bad, and I do like his new shiny model. And I will be using it when I get my Corn Lord of Skulls. Next up is the Lord Discordant, the uh, Warpsmith's bigger brother. And I believe he's better, as he's has a bit more synergy with the lighter, faster moving vehicles, like Venom Crawlers or Hellbirds with Hammers. They'll both appreciate the plus one to hit. And for his weapons, I'd use the Technovirus Injector and the Bale Flamer. I think they're better than the other two, just personally. I think the Technovirus Injector is actually quite strong. It can make his uh, damage in melee much more... Uh, Sus much more well-rounded as it's not susceptible to minus one damage or having it uh, well it is to having damage but still minus one damage doesn't slow him down quite as much next up is the exalted champion who i ranked in tier two uh, he's pretty much just a lord with less wounds um and i think a less attack actually uh but he's just sort of a lord with some baked-in war gear, which isn't that good to begin with, and I'd rather just buy in a lord to have more customizability. Though, again, he, he's fine. Uh, just weaker than the lord, personally. I don't think there's too much draw to running him, again, over his, the lord. Though, if you want to build a castle, he's going to be useful, giving you double rerolls to hit, and then he gives it to wound, where the lord gives it to hit. Then finally, for tier 2, we have the standard lord, uh... I believe is the best sort of cheap HQ, equipping him with a variety of weapons. Uh, I think keeping him at cheap with maybe a Kimbo Chain Swords or something along those lines. Then he can uh, buff the backfield, uh, and he's a good place if you just want to buy in the redeployment Warlord trait for cheap and don't and want to give a fighty character a different Warlord trait, which I think is reasonable. And with the uh, Alpha Legion Relic Chain Sword, you be decent HG charge threat if a bit slanted towards light infantry, not necessarily other space marines. And now, finally, we're on to Tier 1. Starting with the Terminator Lord, uh, I believe is kind of in second place when it comes to being the most well-rounded. Uh, I think his damage is great. Uh, in, he can be good in shooting and at range. Uh, his durability is great, since he's at 7 wounds, which is just a lot for a character that isn't like a Primarch status thing. And I believe just in general, he uh, he outperforms the standard lord. He has uh, better weapons. He can take more weapons. Uh, his weapon choices are more flexible, and he has an actually good kit if you don't want to convert something. <laughs> Though this is the Forge World one, which is obviously monopose, but uh, that's I'm just using it because it's Alpha Legion to go to visual visual cue. Now, here's the Master of Possession, uh, also Tier 1, uh, I think is just the infinitely better Psychic HQ, uh, with a much better weapon that actually can make him good if fighting other Psychers, as they'll suffer perils when he hits them with his weapon. And uh, uh, his Psychic Discipline is just much better. Uh, it plays into the most com powerful combos in the entire book, and the extra minus one to hit at range really helps those combos as well. The next up is the Dark Apostle, uh, similar to the MOP. I believe he's just very good, very flexible buffs. This guy's a bit better in melee, and 
yeah, he's just very flexible. His different uh, litanies or dark prayers, I think is their proper name. That's quite good, and he's a good place to put relics like the Black Mace, I believe it's called. That lets him clear out hordes. Then, finally, in Tier 1, we have the Demon Prince, who I believe is the most well-rounded HQ, being able to be buff, a buff piece for uh, giving rerolls and having the psychic powers uh, he has access to. And you can put wings on him to make him the fastest HQ. At least I believe so. Yeah, I think he's as fast or a little faster than the uh, Lord Discordant. Uh, if you want to build an absolute melee death machine, he's definitely your best bet. In corn, he can have a strength 9, damage D3, plus 3 sword with high AP. And outside of the corn build, obviously, uh, you get some psychic, just a single psychic spell, which is really all you need from Dark Hereticus, one or two, and the Al Acolyte can take the other one. Uh, so yeah, I think the Demon Prince is quite strong. All we need to do is wait for his kit to finally come out, because I really want that kit. Uh, but aside from that, I have been Spoons Rattling. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all next time, and hopefully not at 10.30 at night. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to upload earlier. Sorry for the late upload, everyone. Anyways, thank you. Bye-bye.